Hello, this is a preview of our 1st of November granary sale, which is next Wednesday. As usual, there's absolutely masses in this sale. I say it every month, there's more than ever. This time there really is more than ever. I think we've got nearly 1,600 lots to sell in one day in, in next week's sale. So we're just gonna have a quick walk around, pick out a few things that look slightly interesting. And I've seen loads already. I've only been here 10 minutes and there's masses to look at. So let's have a look along the tables here first. So there's a, I've just spotted this lovely Victorian brass bound um, bucket, make a nice waste paper bin I suppose, or a coal bucket or something, but it's a Victorian oak thing with brass bands around it, that's, that's good, probably going to make sort of 60 or 80 pounds, something like that, um, what else have we got, let's see these are interesting, um, these were inside the front door of, um, um, so we, we cleared a property just outside Battle and these were an, an old lady who lived on her own, and this was in the uh, in the stick stand just inside the front door. And I don't know what I don't know what she was doing with this, or what she would have done with it. But she's got a pair of them, <laughs> so, two handled two handed combat. Um, so hopefully she never had to use that. Um, let's go on the table here. Lots of, lots of interesting postcards this time actually. Um, this is a box full. Always worth rummaging through these boxes of postcards. Look at that, o old Cunard line steamships. There's, they're not all steamships, but there's masses in there, wartime cards. And some of these old albums are worth look through as well. Um, I saw one over here, uh, this one. This came from a local house that we cleared and it's photos of the polo ground in 1914 but inside some really interesting first war military training ground photos um i don't see these too often anymore uh, a watering parade with all the horses and the, these are on the polo ground as well it says pipe laying amazing um let's just keep going down the tables here uh, what else we see I'm not sure what these are. I thought they were, um, I thought they were very ornate uh, pirates' artificial legs. But <laughs> I think they're probably for flaming torches. But uh, there's a pair of those. <laughs> uh, let's have a look in here. Ah, more, more postcards. They're not everyone's thing, but I think these are brilliant. Let's look at these early, early postcards of um, very flimsy-looking aircraft. <laughs> I think they're amazing. Look at that. Imperial Airways. Fancy going on that. And these are all postcards of the period from when these aircraft were flying, so all original things. So that's a fantastic group there. Um, always lots of things in these cabinets. They're well worth a look through. Some of these sort of boxfuls of, of items here. Um, so <laughs> A Browning machine gun um, table lighter. <laughs> Good uh, Christmas present idea there. Let's just keep having a look around here. Um, there's so much furniture in this time. There always is, isn't there? It's always piled high to the ceiling, but just well worth a look through. One of the largest butcher's blocks we've ever had here. About a six foot long butcher's block. Make a nice island in a, in a kitchen. Fantastic thing. And that should be 800 to 1,000 or so, I should think. Um, we've got um, columns over here. These are just um, probably just fiberglass or composition columns, but they're very decorative things. It's a nice um, Orkney chair. So that particular model of those is Orkney Isles. The rush back to it. Um, probably 60 or 80 pounds or something like that. Just have a quick scan around the furniture here as well. Um, this is, there's so much of it this time. But, um, actually, let's just go around the back here. Is this worth a look? So this is a, a very rare item, this. So it's a Premier drum kit. And amazingly, we've got the original receipt for it. Look at that. And it's 1962. And in 1962, that cost £114. Well, 
I don't know what 114 pounds would have bought you in 1962, but I would have thought probably a car, and that's what that drum kit cost. But it is completely original. Look at that with the uh, thick flake metallic paintwork, and it's it's all there. So it's a the four piece set. We've got the symbols and all the other bits that go with it as well, and the receipt. Brilliant, isn't it? Oh, I just saw a nice thing down here actually. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a trunk that size before. It's sort of a half size um, wooden bound travelling trunk. That's beauty, isn't it? With, so wooden bindings with leather handles, an original um, cabin label as well. Let's see what the inside's like. Yeah, so it's, it's got the original um, lining in there as well. And that's, that's a rare piece of luggage. That's a nice thing, isn't it? But um, the furniture just goes on and on here, there's so much of it. So sale is next Wednesday, 1st of November. Viewing is tomorrow from 9 till 1, that's Saturday morning, 9 till 1. Uh, we're also open for viewing Monday and Tuesday of next week. And the sale's Wednesday starting at 9 in the morning. We've also got another floor of furniture upstairs with another probably 500 lots of furniture. And the beauty of that is that we've got a new roof upstairs, so it's all bright and warm amazingly for November. It's going to be great, so come and have a look around. Thank you very much.